Let's see if I can help you understand what happened in America and other parts of the world. Great Chicago Fire, 1871, and of course down, well, you know, 2001. I'm not gonna, it's not allowed to speak about that. Let's see more. This is in, uh, I think it's Boston. I think it's Boston. I'm not sure if it's Boston or something else. Uh, 1872. Yeah, I think it's Boston. 1872. Very close. This one is Chicago, 1871. Interesting how they were so close in the 19th century, one after the other. And then we have uh, Seattle in 1889. And this one is San Francisco at the famous earthquake, so I say, 1906. Now, this one is Great Baltimore, 1904. You see, it's this exactly the same destruction pattern as we see in the Second World War in Germany and Japan. And this is New York, unfortunately, this is from 1835. So in 1835, there were no such thing as photography, so they say. Now, going through all these photos, and of course, it's very important to you, for you to understand to compare the pictures from modern day and the 19th century. Is it shocking for you to see these photos in American cities in the 19th century? So my question to you, natural fire? Or something else I mean I'm so scared even to say because you know even though I, if you if you compare the photos with the bombings of the Second World War of the cities in Germany and Japan you see exactly the same thing so my question to you is what superior humanity did this in the 1800s in the world in the United States of America and you know, if you go into history, you have a great fire every year, pretty much, across the 19th century in over 100 cities. I've done a video about that a long time ago. So, I know it's up to you, of course, but I'm just saying, you know, photos don't lie. Pictures say the truth. And what more do you need than a photo and a picture which is worth more than a thousand words? It's very simple to understand. Now you do you understand how difficult it is for people who go to church and other people who go to university to accept these things because one or the other, it goes against the mainframe of what they're being taught. And this is very close to us. These are the 1800s, the second half of the 19th century. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like, I hope you understand. And if you don't, it doesn't matter. Let's finish with this. Amazing, isn't it? Amazing. See you next time.